Hey guys, what's up? You know what? SUV owners, normally they're, they stick in the city, right? City slickers, urban cowboys, all that kind of jazz. But not Jeep owners. As a matter of fact, 15 cars were brought out here to uh, what they call the Puning Hot Springs and the Puning Trails. It's really, really spectacular. But they took it even a step further by taking us to this place called... Um, What's this place called? It's called like Defcon 5 or something ridiculous like that. I thought it was just a, a nickname that they gave the place, but when you see what you have to put these vehicles through, yeah, Defcon 5 is definitely in it. So uh, stick around for the ride and um, we'll show you what these things can do. Well, the Jeep Trails Pinatubo Edition. In this drive, we're gonna see exactly what the Jeep Wrangler, Rubicon, and uh, the other Jeep models can do. I stuck tires for in the pero still a bit through the obstacle. Yep, that's true. All oh. modifications start no, from the front. Yeah. Yeah. We are equipped. We're just about to start, guys. <laughs> that was just a new task on our wheels. Pretty good. This is a new trail for me, so looking forward to driving the rest of the trail. Great ride, great trip, great everything. That's an experience because you don't get to do this all the time. So yeah, pretty good. You can see the Jeep's power on this road. It's capable of doing any kind of trail. Water, sand, and of course some rocks. It's fun to ride the Jeep in this trail. Well, all I have to say is that it makes off-roading look very easy. That's how good these new Jeep Wrangler Rubicons are. Angeleng, the Rubicon is really a powerful beast. I think what's most important is that it really ups your confidence level. No doubt at any point, so it becomes a piece of cake. Only in the Jeep, man! 